Hi, welcome to today's video where I'm going to show you this particular makeup look. Now, it's not just a simple a step by step tutorial, but it's going to be very useful for the product recommendations because half of the side is done by a drugstore or high end products, and the other half is done using only affordable products. So, there's something for everybody depending on whatever budget you're comfortable with. All the makeup that I'm using in this video is purchased from Amazon. Anybody who likes this look will be able to achieve it. So, let's begin with the makeup look. So on the drugstore side, I'm going to use this Olay moisturizer. Now on the affordable side, we're going to use this Lakme moisturizer. Now this one already has SPF in it, which is great. So on the affordable side, today you're going to see most multi-purpose products where ek hi cheez do teen alag alag features fulfill kar degi. On this side, we're going to use the L'Oreal Infallible Concealer. Almost everybody who's used this is raving about the coverage of this. See how far along that goes. I am shook. And no surprises that on the right side we're gonna use Maybelline Fit Me in the shade 20. The L'Oreal one was more malleable. It was a little more liquid compared to Fit Me, and that's why it was blending much more easily, still giving the good coverage. Fit Me Zada Thura Kadak texture. So you'll have to work more with it. And that's the difference between both of these given the price. How to select the perfect eyeshadow palette for this kind of a look is you need a lot of matte shades. Matte is the way to go jabi hum red lip karat. On the left side, we're gonna use use the Revolution palette in Forever Flawless Allure. Proper locking system be here on both the sides of the lid. Well, on the affordable side, I have the Lakme Absolute Spotlight palette in the shade Stilettos. First off, I'm gonna pick a nude color and start building it in the crease. Then slowly, slowly going in with a darker brown. Look ka jo vibe it's coming because it's blended so seamlessly. There's no harsh line of where the eyeshadow is starting, where it's ending. This time I'm gonna start using this shade mixed with this shade. So we slowly start going into the darker zone. When I came in college, I started celebrating these days with mom and mom only. We share such a special bond, and my mommy na bahot zada enthusiastic or energetic. Wo saamne se bolti thi, hey, aaj daughter's day, let's do something. Aaj mother's day, let's do something. Valentine's day, let's go for a quick lunch if nothing else. To blend the outer. Take a super fluffy blending brush and go over the edges. Circular motions mein jana and then wind wiper motion. Mein. Once that is done, we're gonna take a super light shade and go from inside to the center to give that gradient. Now we're gonna do the same on the right eye with the Lakme eyeshadow palette. Now see there's fallout over here which is why I prefer to just finish the eyes first aram se. So you don't have to stress about cleaning this up later. Recently whenever I started going to parties or any places like this, I don't leave without kajal and I don't know why I love it so much. I love a good retractable pencil. Light lining is way easier because then you're not worried of poking yourself with any wooden shards. Now on the right side, I have the Sugar Coal of Honor Intense Kajal. Another product from the house of Lakme Iconic range for the left side. This is a sketch pen eyeliner. Very beginner friendly because you don't really have to go dipping in the pot again and again. I feel like the Colossal range is one range that almost everybody who started using makeup has tried some product from. To get precision, I'd recommend that you clean the brush on the edges. Make smaller strokes. No need to like go pura ek saath. Now to smoke up the eyeliner a little bit, we're going to use both the kajals again. And this is why them being brown comes in handy because wo itna harsh nahi lagega. And lastly for mascara, voluminous slash palatized mascara, I found this new technique of going left and right on the tip of your eyelashes and then going for the entire eyelash. You just get lifted more. Now on the right side, I'm going to go in with the colossal mascara. Now this mascara is a little more liquidy compared to the lash palatized, which is why I feel like agar iska ek coat kya to iske do karne padenge. First with the brow pencil. This is the one by Sugar and the nib is quite interesting. I'm going to draw the outline stroke because once I know that it's going fill it, it's going to be super easy. And now going in with the Sugar brow powder, going in with a very very light hand but the shade is so beautiful and natural it's made a whole lot of a difference. Now for the right side, I'm only going to use one product which is the Maybelline eyebrow pencil. This one has a spoolie, that way you can tame the brows and know exactly where to fill karna hai. So Even though I'm going in with a super heavy hand, the finishing of the brow powder is completely different compared to a pencil, which is why for high end, the more particular products you use, the better result you eventually end up getting. Now the first step for the base will be primer. And on the high end side, we're gonna use the Color Bar Primer Water. Right side pay, it's this primer. We're gonna use red lipstick as color corrector. Once the color corrector is set, we're going to go in with concealer. One more advantage to apply concealer after doing the eyes is that you can clean up any edges of the eyeshadow if you want to. 
Oh, the infallible is super high coverage compared to Fit Me. Itu sa went all the way till here, and Fit Me is able to reach halfway. Of course, the price difference is also that much. For the high end side, we have the infallible foundation. Blending like butter, and on the right side we have the Lakme Nine to Five Foundation. And this foundation required a bit more work because it is stiffer than Infallible. On the left side, I'm actually going in with a lip liner for the cream contour because that gives a very precise application. And on the right side, we have another Rene multi-purpose product. And now we can go ahead with setting the face. I like taking the banana powder in the lid only, dipping the powder brush, tapping off the excess. और एकदम हल्के हाथ से to go over it. Now this look has a lot of dimension where the center of the areas are light and for that I'm going to take more banana powder and stamp it in those areas. Waiting for this baking is easier because whenever I bake a cake and I've started baking cakes again, they've been turning out so good that Kumar Squens had requested me on their birthday that you eat banana, we don't want to eat cake. And even Himani was like, on my birthday, the only cake I'm going to have is yours. So maybe in a vlog soon, I'll show you how I make it. But this is done. I'm going to dust off the excess. For powder contouring, I'm going to go in with the Revolution eyeshadow palette because they have way too many shades in the brown color spectrum. So mixing two and three shades, I'm going to get the perfect deep contour. And on the right side, I have my favorite sugar palette for the base. Next up for blush, I'm going to go in with the Faces Canada blush on the left side. This blush is buttery smooth. Depending on how much you take on the brush. You can actually control the color by the pigmentation. So because I took very little, it blended so easily with the contour. And instead of giving like a peachy, rosy day vibe, it's blending into the contour to give like a night vibe. And on the right side, now I'm going to go in with the sugar palette. Now for highlight, we're going to use the Maybelline Master Chrome, which usually one would expect to be in the affordable side because this is bomb. And it is a dupe for many, many more luxury highlighters, generally speaking. But since we're using different products on the left side, is why I've kept it here. And on the right side, the base products are more like a combo, three in one, five in one kind of thing. We use a sponge tip applicator to go in the inner corner. These are super useful for shimmers and like highlighters like this. Huh? And on the right side, we're gonna use the champagne color. This is why I like the palette because the color is neither gold nor rose gold. It's champagne, or champagne is very flattering to most skin tones. Now, when you want precision and lips that plump looking, it's best to go in with a lip liner before, especially a little bit darker than the lipstick which we're going to use. And then I'm going to go in with the L'Oreal Rouge Signature Liquid Lipstick in the shade I Am Worth It. I have not come across a liquid lipstick which is this lightweight and this staining because this lipstick doesn't come out. Like it doesn't budge at all, even with just one coat. Which is why it's in my recommendation for the high-end one. And on the affordable side, we're gonna go in with the Rene stick again. The shade match is quite impeccable. It's just the finish is different. So to make this side a little bit more matte, I'm gonna take a cotton pad and take one layer from it, just like as thin as a tissue paper. Put it on the lips and then put some loose powder on it. And now the finishes are almost similar. On this day where you want to feel confident and yourself, it is very important to understand your personal style first. If you like wearing covered clothes and you want to experiment with that, then it's best that you pick a net sleeves wala top pick karo, just pe there is a little bit of work going on here and there. I have some options picked out for you right here, which I'm showing you screenshots dikha rahi ho, and I'll link all of these in the description box down below. I feel like for night time, you can go with darker shades like maroon and black and stuff like that. And if you're going for daytime, then white is beautiful because it's such a neutral palette that it lets you shine through your skin color, your makeup, just your personality. 
quality in general. You can also have elements like cinching at the wrist where there's a good peplum happening right here. And then there's this beautiful black top which is one shoulder that is quite dramatic also. As for the giveaway, I'm giving away one gift card for Amazon worth rupees 1000 so that you can gift yourself and your valentine something fun from all these recommendations if you'd like. So to participate you need to comment down below and exactly what you need to comment will be in the description box and in the pinned comment. So happy to have partnered up with Amazon for this video because I rely so much on Amazon whenever I need things last moment. Right from my outfit on Kumar's birthday to certain makeup if I specifically want to create a look like this. So if you're also in a similar situation, Amazon is perfect to shop from and I've left all the product links in the description box down below. If you enjoyed watching this video and you stayed so far then do give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for future videos. If you did not enjoy watching this video, Bindas give it a thumbs down. I will see you in a brand new video very very soon and happy Valentine's Day in advance. Until then, goodbye!